Apex getting hacked. So Ooh, this one's kind of nuts. It, it's, I think, I think it's, it's bizarre. Nuts. It's bizarre. Essentially, what you have was you got the Titanfall fans. Of course, Titanfall fans feel a little bit neglected as is because, you know, Apex Legends shipped. It was a banger. It has drummed up so much excitement that the entire studio at Respawn has been like, OK, well, this is now our thing. I mean, clearly, look at the revenue. This is what we do now. So the whole studio is on the Apex Legends. And so Titanfall fans are like, Titanfall 3, maybe? And they come out and they say, sorry, it's 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 literally not even, um, it's not a twinkle in mama's eye yet. Like, it, it ain't a thing. Yeah. So don't expect that at all, anytime soon. Um, and so they already feel a little bit neglected. Uh, and then the people who are still playing Titanfall are now having to deal with hackers and cheaters, and it's just not a healthy landscape. So not only do they have no hope for the future, they also have no hope for the present, because the present is is just a completely tainted experience. And so they, they have a lot of frustration. To their credit, that sucks. That's a sucky situation if you were a huge fan of Titanfall. Absolutely. So what happened this past weekend on Sunday? The uh, Apex Legends servers got hacked majorly by, um, you know, Titanfall fans, as far as we can tell. <laughs> and so... And they I made it so you couldn't match anyone, you couldn't find any games, like they completely bogged it down for a long time. But it's also like, hey, we're mad about this stuff, let's ruin a bunch of other people's days. Because you're not, you're not ruining Apex Legends Day, you're ruining the people that are playing Apex Legends yeah. Day. And like, obviously you're going to get EA to notice you, but it's like the people who are mad about cheating in Destiny, there's all these people doing like cheating speed run like how fast can i get my account banned it's like but now you're just cheating and and ruining other people's days this is the thing you hate and now you're doing it to other people yeah you're part you're, of the problem you're just the dick but yeah it's it, tough it's, it's really tough it is a, a weird scenario like on the one hand we're all talking about it you know the whole save titanfall debacle got more attention than ever before because they did this and right. the point that they're making is I mean, not that they should have done this, but it's like their point is, listen, you are selling Titanfall 1 and Titanfall 2 for real money. And when you sell it, you say it comes with a multiplayer experience. You say it's playable. We're arguing it's not playable. That the, the multiplayer is so bad, it's so infested by cheaters, you cannot have a multiplayer experience. In which case, like you're still profiting off this product that's defunct. Right. right. That's their argument. It's like you could probably go into the le legal ramifications of why that's not like technically true, but it's like they've got a little bit of a point. Right. It's like. If, if, if it's so bad that you can't play the game, maybe, you know, the whole is you should remove the multiplayer aspect as or or it should be free. What Like if Titanfall 2 was free, I mean, I guess actually that's not a good idea because making it free would make it even worse for cheaters. So it's like yeah. lose, lose. But again, they were very frustrated with this, and and it sucks that <sighs> it sucks because the people impacted were Apex Legends fans, right? Yeah. And Apex Legends devs, which are like who have no work... control over. I'm sure. That problem, the, the, yeah, I'm sure the people working at Apex Legends would freaking love. Like they're obviously a lot of the same people who made Titanfall one and two. They're not happy about cheaters infesting their games that they made mm -hmm. they're they're probably just as pissed like what are they gonna do though yeah. like the, pe the the responsibility to fix the cheaters comes from higher up it comes with, with right. ea itself getting a good anti-cheat into yeah. the games and they're they're just not going to spend the resources to to put it into t an old game which again <laughs> sucks to say and then it's like well if you're not going to ea then why are you selling it? And I think that's a legitimate argument. It's like, well, y you have a responsibility to your customers to make it a playable experience. At, at the same time, the hacking, like it, it, like it's like you're aiming at EA and you like missed and you hit yeah, <laughs> the a Apex fans. Yeah, they're like saying, yeah. they're like, what do we do? Right? Yeah, at yeah, the I mean, end of the day, that's the exact that's the exact reason why I think this is not the play. This is yeah. not the play. It, do I sympathize with the situation? Yes. Do I agree with their cause? Yes. But I felt terrible because I remember just following this loosely on Twitter on Sunday, and I, there was a Apex Legend uh, dev who live tweeted. He said, "I'm going to paraphrase." He said, "My uh, 
I was I was holding my newborn nephew for the very first I'm my first time uncle is holding my newborn nephew for the very first time when I got the call that I need to go into work here on a Sunday. So he's basically like, this is my middle finger to you. So whoever did this, thanks. I'm the person that you're punishing and I have no control over your problem, but I'm the one that has to fix this now. So thank you very much. Um, And that's I, I was like, man, that really does freaking suck. Yeah, like these are totally real people on a Sunday afternoon trying to enjoy some family time. Fourth of July weekend. This is the crap they got to deal with. That really freaking sucks, man. Not only that, but some of some of these people I remember being a voc like a before I was a vocational gamer, just being your regular person. I I worked 40 plus hours a week. And on the weekends, it's like, hey, this is my time. I get to sit down, unwind and play some video games. These are the people that get punished. And yeah. at the end of the day, that's the thing where I say, like, no, this is not the play. This is scumbag move. Cut and dry case. And, you well, know, the, the thing is, is like, you're, you're type- right. But you I just want to say attention wise, it it worked. They everyone's paying attention to the cheating. Pro- everyone knows about the cheating problem in Titanfall 2. Like, I, I hate that it worked. I hate that it worked, but it worked like and they went through. Look, there is constant reddit posts i bet on titanfall 2 subreddit where there's devs present there's constant everything constant tweets youtube videos and like no one from ea ever replies they never got anything to bloody say so people get like frustrated and desperate and they do this again this is not the play but it's like they went through all the normal channels i think some of the blame lies on ea it's like ea if you don't want to get hacked respond to the freaking reddit post like this it's kind of like you guys have to interact. You have to have some responsibility for your own platforms that you're selling, your products that you're selling. You need to respond to these communities and say, listen, like if someone from EA said, listen, we cannot justify going in and implementing an anti-cheat for an old game. The player population just isn't there. We're sorry. Like, you know, we, ha- we can maybe implement like an, uh, like an auto report or an auto detect feature, something like that, but not a true anti cheat. If they said that, that would like calm the even just like a, an official acknowledgement of like, we're not going to do anything. If they would officially just say, it's an old game, we can't do anything about it, we're not going to do anything about it, people would move on. But it's just like to, they don't say anything, right? Here's For the years thing, years and years and years. It, it's like what what year did Titan fall to release date? So long ago. 2016 one year before destiny destiny is still going strong here's the thing though here's the thing though is like they made anthem and they're like hey we're gonna fix it and like <laughs> and then they didn't yeah, within like right. a year and a bit they're like <sighs> oh, do you know what we're actually not gonna fix it at yeah, all like you know we're what? not yeah. gonna fix it we're just giving up on the project so it's like do you think they're gonna go back and touch titanfall no right, exactly shot. no they're not no, it's they're not. not gonna happen it's not but gonna I happen think it's like it's it's again i do not want to say that i'm i'm not justifying anything i'm simply saying to avoid this in the future i think ea does need to have some people that go out and reach out with the, like make a post on the titanfall reddit you are going to get downvoted to hell but guess what at least you'll bring some closure and some response to that community and say hey we can't deal with this it's an old game it's out of our scope we're looking at implementing and new anti cheats for the future. Where we, you know, we've learned what people are doing in this game, so we can prevent it on other games. Again, people are gonna be mad, but then at least they'll know. They'll have closure, and they won't do something like this. It's like it's like the Cube World subreddit. Cube World had like an alpha, and everyone loved the game. And for like eight years, people were like. Maybe he'll update it. Like maybe, maybe he'll come back, and he just like would yeah. never ever post. And then he'd tweet here and there, and they'd be like, "Wait, is that is that's a new screenshot?" What does that mean? Right? And then unfortunately, he did release it, and it was trash. But it's like they had that glimmer of hope for seven months, like seven years. And if he was just like, "Yeah, I'm not doing it anymore," they could move on with them, their lives. But even me, yeah. the only reason I know that is because every couple of months or even a year, I'd be like. Is Cube World happening? I'd go, I'd go to the Reddit and someone would be like, new screenshot on his OnlyFans. And it's like, oh, sheesh, maybe it's coming. (laughs) It's just, it's a tough thing because like, as much as these developers like probably love the game they make and the product they make, but there's also people that fall in love with their games. Like the angriest people 
talking about love destiny the game the most they yeah. love the game the most it's just like it's such yeah. a crazy yeah, it world does suck. and it, it it sucks so bad because it's like these like you said these poor devs they're like randomly it's like they're just in charge of the freaking apex servers mm-hmm. it's like you're again you're throwing a grenade you're trying to throw a grenade and you just go Whoa! <laughs> and like whoopsie daisy and it's like what are you doing it, it, it just shows like dude how big of an issue cheating is right now i feel like because there's so many free-to-play games like the, the the funny thing is the titanfall 2 people are crying about cheaters but it's like the apex legend community also has to deal with a ton of cheaters and war like cheating like it's all and, over the place and the war zone community is like damn you guys are crying about cheaters you have to hack your game we have so many cheaters in Warzone. d2 it's like we can't even play a trials game without at least even know, our content cheater. creators are cheating exactly yeah. <laughs> Like, it's like, everyone's cheating out here. Is there so a game like, that doesn't have cheaters right now? Valorant? Next, like, League I of mean, Legends, maybe? But I guess like, that's honestly, the same company. Dude, honestly, one of the most exciting things I'm most excited for about Battlefield is that it costs $70. Just the fact that it costs $70 means that the ch- if you get banned, you're not making a new account because you have to buy the game again. Right. Like, yeah. just, you would be so surprised how many cheaters that limits like if you talk to someone cheating in warzone they're like bro i have a new account in two minutes i don't care right and obviously i'm gonna get all my camos again because i have freaking auto aim and i never miss a headshot yeah. right like it's so ridiculous yeah. the, the free-to-play movement has created so much more interest in video gaming but it's also made the cheater epidemic crazy dude if someone out there all these people are developing cheats if one guy comes up with a good anti-cheat, you're a millionaire. Like, I swear, a good anti-cheat, sell it to all these different developers or all these different companies. It's, there's got to be a market for a really good anti-cheat. Yeah, I guess it's just like, how do you implement it and inject it into your game? That's the only thing. Uh, how do you enable infinite revives in Destiny, right? Like, if you can figure that out, you can figure out how to detect it, for God's sakes. That's fair. Deej De- De- brings up a good point in chat, too. He's like... Should I be worried about Halo Infinite? Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, 100%. You should be terrified. <laughs>